Hello, dear viewer. I am Katna Moran, and this is my hit single for my forthcoming book, Moranthology. It's called Call Me Puffin. 12.17 a.m. We are just going to sleep. I can hear Pete's breathing is modulating into REM. In the loft, the boiler powers down into standby mode. The duvet is perfectly snugged in, and the day is done. I love you, Bear, I say. Mm-hmm, he replies. There is a silence. It is followed by a second silence. Then, me. Bear? It's funny, isn't it? Bear. I call you Bear. Pete. Mm. Me. But you, you have no nickname for me. I think it would be nice if you had a nickname for me. Pete. Mm. Because, you know, it's been 16 years now. I've had a lot of slightly noisome nicknames for you. Bear, Pie, Mr Pooh, the Werbles. But you've never had a nickname for me. Pete. <laughs> I mean, a nickname arises out of need, doesn't it? To rename something in order to display ownership or indicate that you see in someone an aspect that no one else can and which demands unique acknowledgement. So, not having a nickname for me suggests you would quite happily let me be stolen by Tinkers or that you can't really tell the difference between me, my sisters and Moira Stewart. Pete, unhappily, hmm. Me, seriously, seriously, I think I would quite like a nickname. It would make me feel more loved. I would feel a lot more loved if you could come up with a nickname for me. Now, do it now. Come up with a nickname for me now. Pete, turning over in bed, I am asleep. I'll help you brainstorm. It needs to be playful, yet tender. Pete, disbelievingly, playful, yet tender. Is this actually happening? Yes, yes, it is happening. And ideally, it would be reflective of the unique insight that you have into me after all those years of love. What comes to mind when you think about me? Pete, the word me. Me, do it properly. Pete, seriously, the word me. You say it a lot. That and serum, but I don't really know what serum means. Me, not what I say. It's got to be what you think. Why do you love me? Pete, very vaguely. You're a woman? Me, very firmly. My nickname is not going to be woman. All my feminist friends will laugh at me and sign a petition against me. Come on, workshop. What's bringing to mind here? Pete, you are wholly unaware of how much work I have to do tomorrow. Me, helpfully. I'm unexpectedly practical, aren't I? Like I mended the stereo on the hire car that time. Something along the lines of MacGyver or John McClane. That's the character that Bruce Willis plays in Die Hard. But give it a kind of sexy twist to prove that you know me. Pete, you know what? You should call a friend about this. One of those chatty gays. They love something like this. Me, come on. What lovable quirks do you notice about me? Pete, despairingly, after a full minute. You eat a lot of yoghurt? I eat a lot of yoghurt? You eat a lot of yoghurt. I could call you Yog. Me, very indignantly. Yog? You can't call me Yog. That's George Michael's nickname. You can't give me a nickname that's already being used by a celebrity. You might as well call me Brangelina or the Pelvis. You're not trying here, are you? Pete, I'm so unhappy. Me, what about Puffin? It's my favourite bird, a small, round, gothic bird with a large nose. Plus, it punningly acknowledges my stony years when I was puffing away all the time. Proves that you know me back in the day when I still thought there were eight days in the week because of the Beatles. Puffin. You should call me Puffin. Pete. Puffin. That is good. That is very, very good. Yes, you are Puffin now to me forever. The matter is settled to mutual satisfaction. I am wholly joyous. Do I sound sarcastic? Me. Happily. No. I'm happy now. Bear and Puffin. That is us. We are Bear and Puffin. Good night, Bear. Pete. Good night. Small, angry silence. Me, eventually. Puffin. Pete. What? Me. Good night. Puffin. Say, good night, Puffin. Pete. Good night, Puffin. You demented fucking bitch.